Alright, uh, hello and welcome back to the Mexican Reconquista. Now where we left off, we had already had the fascists in power. We were making some gains as far as army production and I think we we're getting ready to mount a very large presence on the U.S. border and begin our attempted assault southward. Uh, I think we might still be in the sphere of Spain. No, we got kicked out of the sphere of Spain, if I remember correctly. Or Spain stopped being a great power. Spain stopped being a great power. Okay. Now we shall continue on our quest. Where are we at? We're at Modern Roads. I don't think we've picked up... Yeah, we haven't picked up Modern Tanks or anything. And actually, we should be about to get the next tier. So, definitely going to keep going on the intelligence... 1938, it's almost 1940, now Germany hasn't taken the Sudets, and they haven't taken Danzig, or I guess West Brodachstein. That's Prussian. Um, they also don't have Alsace-Lorraine yet, uh, they are at war with the Japanese, I think it's because they went to war with Italy if I'm remembering correctly, it has been about a week, and since I am... Going to that good old fashioned university, I am uh, sadly completely brain melted. So, hopefully, I don't mess things up too much. I'm going to turn up the audio from the music a little bit because I don't think it's being picked up. There we go. A little bit of background noise, maybe make it flow a little bit better. All right, so. Guatemala is probably not going to be a good idea because the U.S. will immediately join. Uh, let's go ahead and double check our allies. Okay, we have mainly Latin American countries, Panama, El Salvador, and Cuba. Uh, Cuba is in the sphere of America. Now, the U.S. has a strength of almost 1,000, roughly 1,150. We're at 208. <sighs> That's almost a 600. Oh, well, six times different. So they're about six times the military strength of us. So let's look for New Horizons. Preferably one where um, the U.S. won't in its sphere. So we're talking mainly South America, Peru. Uh, Chile is allied with Brazil, which doesn't sound like a fun time. Now Peru, Peru is allied with Argentina. Argentina, we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that combo. Ecuador might be easier because they're allied with only Colombia. Now, Colombia is allied with Brazil and Costa Rica. But, if we only go for Ecuador, so we'd have to go for a conquest. Now, what kind of resources are we looking at? We're looking at, I think it's coffee, right? Yeah, coffee, fruits, um, and timber, and wheat. Okay. Or is it wheat or does it say grain always? Oh, cattle too, somewhere. I think it's, no, it just says grain. Okay, and then what, uh, okay, and fish. Not turtles, sadly. Uh, they are, I think... Spanish American, but they do also accept this. Um, now we see no, no Germany is still just fucking fine. Italy has regained the great power status. All right, the Soviet Union obviously is kicking around doing its thing. Now uh, there's Italian Libya that got fucking neutered. What else do we have going on though? Well, what other prosperities, prospects, I should say, not prosperities. We could go for the Belgians. Now, they are allied with Spain, which I think is, yeah, might be a no-no time. Uh, they're also allied with Portugal, which is not looking great. So then we can think maybe Hispaniola, maybe Haiti, or the uh, Dominican Republic. I think they're both feared, aren't they? They are both feared. Oh. All right, um, let's look elsewhere. Okay, what do we have here? The Netherlands. That's not going to happen. So it's, it's looking like Ecuador might be our mainly only... Um, opportunity. Um, so let's double check maybe the uh, Pacific. But again, there's been a bunch of fucking colonization at this point in time. There's not much that we can actually seize because they're either in the sphere of another, uh, well, in the sphere of a great power, or they are a great power or immensely powerful. Uh, if China hadn't modernized, I would say let's fuck them up, but China, unfortunately, is modernized. And, actually, have they pushed through Manchuria most of the way? Oh, yeah, in Korea. 
Yeah. The Germans and the well, the Nazis and the Chinese are tag teaming up fucking Korea. Alright. Uh we could go for Persia. I think Arabia no Arabia's fucking sphere. Okay. Now we could go for Arabia. The only problem is the Japanese are even though they're getting completely demolished, they are kinda still powerful. Turkey Turkey is more powerful than us. Um, Persia might be okay, though. We might be able to pull out a Persian invasion. Now, where would, what would we get? Would we just get a state? I demand concession because they're technically partially westernized. All right, let's look at this economically. What, what opportunities do we have in Persia? Now, we have oil, oil in the Khuzestan. That might be your best bet because, um... Oh no, we're making quite a bit of oil. I think we might be a pretty large contender. I keep trying to click production because one would think, oh, you know, intuitive uh, UI, you would click on, um, what's it called? You just click on the fucking production where it has it, but it's always on trade. Uh, we're not one of the top five producers. It's actually pretty low price, so there's not a big reason to go for it. And actually it looks like most raw materials, other than maybe iron are fairly low. Uh, wool, wool might be the only decent opportunity. No, nothing's going to be in high demand. Industrial goods are going to be where it's at. Although it does have tea and coffee are looking kind of normalized. Um, paper, you have to, oh, fish, fish might be an opportunity. Uh, tobacco, looking decent. Now we are doing well economically. How much, how much still do we have coming in? No, uh, maybe maybe not still. Maybe how much how much fish do we have? I, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna click on. I'm blind as a bat. I am actually blind as a bat. I just saw it. It should be consumer goods. There it is. We don't produce any fish. We actually use fish, and I think we're also using it for the. No, we're not using it for the cannery yet. But we could. How much livestock? We're not producing any livestock. Which steel? We are producing steel because we have steel mills, which use coal, which we have none of. Oh wait. Yeah, it should use coal. And it should be iron. How much iron are we producing? None. So, actually, if we get coal and iron, we might be in a lot better situation. So, we're looking at maybe the Kerman region. Would give us some iron. Uh, and grain. But, oh, and fish. It, it would give us fish. Now, fires might be better. It does have a lot more fish. It does also have opium. Now, we could go for three. That would require quite a bit of effort, though. We could go fars, the Kuzestan, and then Kerman, or Kerman and for, uh, Fars. How, what's the population looking like? So, Fars does have quite a, a bit more people. So I think I think Fars will be our first justification. We have, I'm gonna double check, but it said we had oil production, right? Um, trade, there it is. Do 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 oil. We apparently have 2.61% of the global production, but we're not actually making any. So I think I think we're gonna go for Fars just for that fucking pop. Uh, demand concession. Yeah. I should double check my infamy. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, if we don't get any infamy points from this, uh, we should be a okay. Now, how many transports did I get? 15. Okay, so we're talking what? 15. God, I'm hella bad at math for some reason. I can't. I can't. It should be 45. Yeah, 45. So 45,000. So we could actually put about five more units on one of these, or we could take a full unit and then half of another. It's starting to look. Maybe a bit more promising. Um, what are we doing? We were doing a loadout of four artillery, two engineers, and four infantry. Oh yeah, because we didn't have any um, armor or planes coming in, which we still don't have because we don't have the proper tanks. Um, that, that, uh, should airplanes be needing tanks in air supply? No, they should be needing needing uh, fucking planes. Yeah, but we are producing it, correct? Uh, let's go to factories. Double check. Never hurts to double check. We are producing a few. Um, we're not actually losing... We're not low on resources, I should say. Okay. Um, and we're putting workers in these factories. Now, tank production is looking fine. I'm going to go ahead and boost it again. And same with the airplanes. If I look at our production of tanks and airplanes, what percentage of the... We're not making it. What am I? What am I thinking? Okay, let's let's let a day tick by. Let's see if that actually changes anything. It says we're not making any. So are we having a supply issue? 
Airplanes, we're missing lumber. So we don't have lumber. It's looking like lumber, lumber and automobiles. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, see, we have clipper. We need the lumber. Do we have a lumber mill anywhere? We do have one lumber mill, which is not enough to supply the economy. So since we're going to have more workers anyway, might as well make an automobile factory here. And I'm going to do double up just in case we can't have enough. And I'm going to go ahead and go for a lumber sawmill. That's what they're called, not lumber yard. And Yucatan. I'll go ahead and put one in uh, uh, Jalisco. Uh, sawmill, there it is. And I think... Hopefully that helps with the supply issue. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Actually, are we missing anything for the production? No. So it'll it'll, it'll get built kind of quickly. I might knock off maybe the explosive the explosive factory. I'll shut it down for a bit and let uh, all the people kind of go over here. Maybe explosive and steel because we are making. I think we're making enough steel. And what movements do we have? What are people wanting? Minimum wage. Uh, we're making fine as far as money goes. We could also go for transportation. Which will be useful in, us in, in a little bit. Um, what else could we go for? Some minimum wage. We'll just accept it. Bumps up minimum wage. Which loses us a little bit of money. But we're only paying... No, we're actually not. It'll just be the industrial subsidies because of the factories. And our tariffs are pretty low. Which means it should be fine. Uh, Panama Canal has been built, yes. Yes, so we should be able to invade the Pacific fairly easy. When will our war justification be done? It'll be 56 days. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and move over here and pick up an army. Uh, does this leave a slightly open? One, two, three. Oh, it's not going to... Of course, it's not going to tell me. We should be fine, though, because I, I... Like... Worst case scenario, America joins, and then we're kind of fucked, right? But we um, we try to we try to reduce the line, so we go to Monclova, Perella, and Blindness. So we're talking this here, that there, that there, and then this goes into uh, Santa Maria de Oro, or Torino, and we should be good. We want to we want we want a province that kind of supports more than one. See, this one would be bad because it only support that one. Uh, this one might be fine because it supports these two, but I'm mainly worried about Monclova because it is desert, and I don't think it gives a it gives it gives attrition, but I don't think it gives like a, a modifier for uh, defense because um, mountain grassland does combat width is reduced. Great, defense goes up. Grassland doesn't do anything, so these. Three provinces would matter the most. If we fall, if we pulled further back, we'd have two more provinces. So see, if we try to reduce this to one, we'd have two more, and we wouldn't have enough troops. I don't think so. We'd have what one, one. We can actually pull this back. We might as well defend uh, forward position. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'd have no backup units unless we pulled one from the uh, southern front. So I think. See, this this would give us two mountain, but it would give us three grassland. If we do the other way around, we still get three grassland, but only one mountain. And since they're only likely to attack one or two provinces at a time, I guess percentage-wise, it'd be more likely to be mountains. But as far as I remember, the AI is pretty good about not attacking into mountains and getting itself slaughtered. But I might be wrong. <laughs> it might, it, I might be very much wrong. Um... And all this is feared by the U.S. And yeah. Other than Belize, because it is UK. Uh, Persia, it's only 1.7. Okay, that's not that's not bad. Um, that gives us... I think it was a max of 7 for domain concession, because they're colonial. So it should give us... We should be able to get 2 or 3 states out of it. Uh, unless another great power joins, which actually I should double check just before I go in. Otherwise, this is going to be a very boring series. Uh, the Soviet Union is trying to have a rush for it, but I don't think they'll actually... I don't think they I don't think they're cordial or friendly. No, everyone's hostile or opposed. So we're actually gonna be fine. And they are still uncivilized. How uncivilized are they? So we can only take yeah, those three. Um if we look at civilization, they're seventy five percent there, which means yeah, we're fine. Um let's go ahead and transport an army. Um now we're gonna we're gonna pretty quickly get out of range, right, of our supplies. 
Yeah. Um, are we friendly enough with anyone to kind of... The Netherlands, maybe. The UK, definitely. Yeah, we can maybe get uh, military access. They will not accept. But, okay. Um, who else are we kind of friendly with? Now, the French we're kind of okay with. They will also not accept, but they're, they're more likely to accept than the, the British, right? Because this was negative 77. Negative 77. Yeah, so if we if we attempted to kind of smooch our way in, our military access for them is negative 59. So actually, China might be the easiest way. And China is strong. They're allied with, uh, they're allied with France. Okay, we might, we might try and improve relations with China. And we'll do the French, because they're more likely than the British. How many diplo points do we have? Five. So I'm also going to improve relations with the British, because they're... They're less likely to fuck our shit up if we're uh, friendlier with them. I mean, they, they'll still fuck our shit up. Uh, did I already send you? I did not send you yet. Uh, I selected the army instead of the fucking navy. There we go. Alright, fucking... There we go. And we're just, since we're going to be going for fars, I'm going to get the hormones straight. I doubt they have a navy hidden here. Most likely their navy is going to be in Abaddon. So we should be pretty fine. Uh, once it gets there, oop, we got modern railroads. Was there another, uh, we can do coal output, precious iron mines. So we're, no, we are getting iron because we're going for bars. No, we're not going for forest. We're going for, I mean, we're not going for Kerman, we're going for forest. Um, we could get the supply limit, that'd be good. Factory explosives, ooh, artificial fertilizers, coffee, opium. See, radio does factory thorough attack, which factory cost goes up, but wood production output also goes up. Uh, let's go for let's go for radio. Let's go ahead and get all this industry down. Um, I don't think we'll actually be able to make much of a dent as far as military tech goes. So we're, let's just gang up on fucking weak ass nations, and honestly, we may lose a whole fucking fleet. But for that, oh fuck, we went through the fucking uh, um. Suez Canal. Couldn't think of the name. I thought we were going to just go across the Pacific, but I guess that's not the game. Alright. And there we're there. And at this point, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh, once we come back, we will be invading Persia, and we will be hopefully securing a, pro a few colonial provinces for the great uh, Mexican state. Uh, thanks for watching, and please continue.